So what is up pimps, hoes, and buffaloes, and welcome back today to another episode of Storytime. You guys continue to show so much support to this series, so I have to keep digging down into the depths of my brain to think of stuff that's happened in my childhood that you guys may be interested in and find entertaining. So if you want to see more Storytime episodes, be sure to leave a like rating before I even get into this story. That would be fantastic. But anyway, let's talk about the time where I accidentally got myself involved with an organized gang fight. Yeah, I know. I sound like a complete thug. Getting involved in all these drunken... Well, I've never even gotten myself involved in any fights. People have asked me, Oh, what's your best fighting experience? And I'm... I, to be quite honest, I don't... I've never hit anyone. I, I don't really know my own strength, so I wouldn't want to, if I had the choice, obviously, get into any sort of violent situations. But this was one of those sort of things where I didn't know anything about it. It was completely unprovoked even though it was in a nightclub so you could immediately jump the gun and say oh well alcohol has been involved then you must have done something wrong guys genuinely it was we'd been in the club for 20 minutes it was about midnight we hadn't really had anything to drink prior to going out so we were just there looking to enjoy an, a night out in Swansea where I was at university let me just get the background of the story in first for you guys so I was at uni at Swansea studying business management Realized within a couple of weeks it really wasn't what I wanted to do So I pulled out and I'm going back to uni in September to study radio. That's my passion That's pretty much the end of it. So Amy has visited me in Swansea bearing in mind. This is back in last September and we decided to go out on the Saturday night because We didn't know this prior to prior to actually going out, but apparently Saturday nights are always sort of really rough There's always quite a lot of shit going on Friday nights are the best nights to go out over there apparently but um, we've gone out and within about 20 minutes of being in the nightclub, we've decided to go and break the seal. You know, that dreaded thing that always seems to happen early. Well, some people don't need to go to the toilet once they've been drinking, but we'd hardly had anything to drink and I'd gone to the toilet. So immediately I knew breaking the seal this early was going to be a bad idea. So it's me, Amy, and a friend of mine I met at Swansea called Chris. And... Chris has, I've gone into the bathroom first, Chris has waited outside with Amy, so I thought, you know what, I just go to the toilet, Chris needed the loo, he'll go in afterwards, but one of us should stay with Amy, because obviously she's in a place she doesn't know, she's on her own, she's a female, she's vulnerable. So, I've gone in, and unknown to me, in the process of me being in the toilet, Chris has got himself pretty much battered outside of the bathroom. So, come out, see Chris holding his face, I'm thinking, what the hell's going on, what's going on buddy? He's moved his hands away from his face and there's literally just blood everywhere. His front two teeth have been like knocked back, not down to the back of his throat, not completely out, but they've been sort of wedged away from his gun. So it was a pretty, pretty nasty sight to be quite honest. And before I even had a chance to sort of collect what was going on in my mind, the same has happened to me. Someone has just completely come up to me and has just literally lamped me out. And the one good thing I can say about this is apparently... I didn't go to the floor, I was just sort of like holding myself up against the wall, completely disorientated because this was the first time I've ever been hit. I didn't really know what was going on and you know, you could say, why didn't you fight them back, Buffalo? Why didn't you kick their freaking ass? Well, I, 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 I didn't, I, honestly, I didn't know what was going on before I had a chance to even understand what had happened to Chris, the same has happened to me. So these guys are pretty big fucking dudes. If, if, if anyone's aware of sort of like the Welsh people. I'm not I'm not generalizing this, I swear down. It they were rugby players. They look like big dudes, like go to the gym, probably playing rugby. A lot of Welsh like teenagers and young adults play rugby apparently in this country. I, I'm not hating on Welsh people. Please don't get the wrong idea here. I'm just just making my observation. But um in the process of this happening, we've gone to they've actually got like a little hospital unit inside the club. It's that much of a big club. And we were just sat there, and I was just doing this on my face, and I could slowly feel this horrible bump appearing on my face. Chris Chris just still looked battered. Obviously, I couldn't see myself, because no matter how cross-eyed you go, you can't see your entire face. I didn't have mirrors, so I didn't really know what was going on. Amy's there, like, completely unharmed, because if, obviously if they hit girls, then that's just even more below the belt. Let alone hitting two innocent lads just looking to enjoy a night out. So we've waited... In the, in the hotel, in the club sort of hospital area for a while and we've been taken to hospital because Chris's, Chris's teeth are pretty bad and my face, it looked as if I may have done something to my jaw but luckily for me, 
it was just heavy bruising. But the weight in the hospital, I genuinely, I've never understood this, even to this day. We were literally waiting in the hospital for three hours before being seen. And this hospital was empty, like, there was people working, but there was no one there. Literally, like, I don't understand how we sat there in the waiting room for so long. Honestly, it baffles me to this day. And when I eventually went round, I had to go to an x-ray unit. Then I had to go see another woman who was like, doing all this to my bruised face, which freaking hurt. But she was just, oh, I don't, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I was just really badly bruised. I'll try and get some pictures out for you guys. Apologies if I can't. So we've gone home and just been told basically that I'm going to have a very black eye and a swollen face. And I'm going to look like a, like a twat for a while because I've just been beaten up, essentially. So um, we, we've gone home, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, finally get to sleep, painful at the same time. 8 o'clock, the police ring, they want to speak to us. Great stuff, 2 hours sleep, a battered face, do I really want to go and give a statement to the police right now? No, but I did because I had to. And eventually, I don't know what happened to those guys, I think, I think some of them did get caught, obviously on the CCTV. In, in the actual club itself, but the only area they didn't have sort of controlled surveillance was in that area outside of the toilets. Why they didn't have controlled CCTV there, I don't know. That's probably one of the most places that you should have it because obviously people come out of the toilet and get beaten up like me, fuck's sake. I don't really know to be honest, but that is what happened and yeah, they got punished for it and I'm perfectly, well, not perfectly fine. I'm, I'm fine now. I'm, it's all good. So yeah, guys, that is the story of when I accidentally got involved in an organized gang fight. Unfortunately, they thought I was a member of the opposing gang and they beat me up. That is the story, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like rating and I'll be back tomorrow with more videos. Freaking eating cornflakes, milk and Worcester sauce because of you. Oh, well, I, I signed myself up for it, basically. And something's just come through the letterbox. Speak to you guys soon. Bye.